hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel this printer is epson workforce wf2950 dwf this printer is multifunctional printer it's multi-tax four in one in the sense you can copy scan print and fast from this printer this printer is very compact multifunctional printer with mobile connection this printer i have the option to auto two-sided print this printer got rear paper tray this is the rear paper tray is used in here so rear paper tray so you can load various sizes of paper a4 paper photo paper and adjust it accordingly this printer you can connect it to wi-fi network wi-fi direct or with usb cable option but the usb cable is not included in the packaging if you want to set this printer up you need to connect it using epson smart panel this printer is using ink cartridges 604 or 604 extra large i want to say massive thank you to those of you guys first of all who subscribe to this channel i appreciate you a lot it means so much at the same time also asking you to consider to subscribe to the channel it help the channel to grow okay that being said let's crack on this printer what i want to show you is actually the overview then show you how to ins replace or install the ink this is the scanner flat bell scanner for this printer and this is the lcd screen you switch this printer on and off from here the power cable goes at the back the power cable goes at the back here if we are using usb cable usb cable goes in here if you have any paper jam you open up this section and, and check for any paper jam and debris and gently remove it at the center once you're done you make sure you close the door you open this door by pressing this spring together okay and once you're done just push it back inside and it's in okay now this printer also got adf automatic document feeder this is the adf allows you to scan multiple pages of documents in one go okay so this is the adf okay now the printing speed for this printer 10.0 print per minute for black and 5.0 for color now if you are printing two-sided the speed is 6.0 for black and 4.0 for color scan resolution 1200 by 2400 dpi and print resolution 5760 by 1440 this printer is using ink 604 what we want to do is to show you how to install the ink and to do this you just need to open up the printer once you open up the printer the ink cartridge holder is once you switch it on the ink cartridge holder will be to the position itself to the particular space it's supposed to be and once you store the ink then it will move away from here to the corner okay so and there are stickers on top so you just need to position this the ink according to the sticker on top of each okay unit okay. now each ink unit so what we'll, we'll start from bk which is black okay and i got the ink cartridges here So this printer normally usually come with set of ink cartridges that to go with it and you have option for as well to ready print flex subscribe for from one pound 29 or 199 euro a month and get ink delivered to your door okay so this ink cartridge is the way it work you need to pull off this air vent pull it off now then you go in to the black push it down okay and it's in the next thing to do is you go with the yellow one go with yellow is the next okay so pull off the air vent if you don't pull off the air vent this will not work then you go in also be be mindful don't touch the chip okay don't go in push it down the next on the list is magenta okay 
pull off the air vent, go in, push it down, the last but not the least. This is Cyan. Pull off the air vent, go in, push it down, okay? Now the ink are uh, installed, okay? What you need to do is then close it, okay? Then the next thing is, uh, once you've done that initialization, you select initialization start, install the ink cartridges for setup, then install the ink for setup that came with the printer, which we have done, click OK. Okay, so now it's processing. Okay, you can see once it's initialization is please wait. Okay, so what it's doing now is initializing initialization is taking place and it's going to take about six minutes. So once initialization, you just need to get ready. Once this read to the end, it will tell you initialization is complete. Okay. So the next thing to do is um, for you to load the paper and complete alignment here. So this is how to replace or change the ink. Thank you very much indeed. And stay blessed. Thank you.